So let's go ahead and take a look at this problem and what we would go ahead and do with this. Now, if you guys remember when we were adding um, or combining uh, polynomials, the best method that I'd like to go through is using the vertical method. And basically, we're rewriting this addition problem as a vertical math problem, where we're basically going to take one polynomial, 3x squared minus 2x, and combine it to another one below it, 4x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5. Now, the problem with this method sometimes is you, you don't have everything, you know, a lot of times we don't have everything combined. Obviously, we have you know, the 3x squared is coming in, but what do we really add or subtract everything else to? So what I want you guys to understand is we can fill those in with numbers, all right? So another way to do this is if I had 4x cubed minus 2x squared, do I have an x term for this polynomial? An x? Just an x to the first power? No. no. So I can write plus 0x. Because what's 0 times x? Nothing. 0, right? And then, hold on, 5 still there. Minus 5. All right, now, here, do I have a, an x cubed here of this one? So I can write 0x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x and then plus 0. Now, the only reason why I do this, you do not have to do this, but the only reason why I do this is now you guys can see that I have like terms vertically aligned with each other. So if one does not exist, you can always think of it as just 0. Does that kind of make sense? This can sometimes get confusing with students because they're like, oh, you know, what combines with what? What am I adding? What am I subtracting? And then they'll make a mental mistake and add negative 2x and 5, right? Those aren't like terms. You can't combine them. You can only combine like terms with like terms. And they're like terms that they have the same variable factors. So therefore, 0x cubed plus 4x cubed is going to be 4x cubed. 3x squared minus 2x squared is negative x squared. Negative 2x plus 0x is a negative 2x. And 0 minus 5 is negative 5. 0 plus negative 5. 0 plus negative 5. Oh, no, that's positive. That one is positive. Does that make sense now? Whoa, Stephen. No question. Um, is three set the two's on the x? Hmm? What? The powers. 